subscribe. subscribe. Thank you. Oh, hey, what's up, Anartex? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back playing on X Life, and today we're gonna do some holiday pranking. Thank you to this beautiful person that left this awesome prank idea in the comments. Without you, I would have never thought about this, so thank you, I appreciate it. The goal of this prank is to confuse people, and this is how we're gonna do it. So you guys know how I made that Christmas decor store in Spawn? Well, I decided that everyone that signs up to get a Christmas tree built by me in their homes is also gonna get random holiday decor. Now, I know I already decorated Joey's house for Christmas because he did specifically ask me to do that, so I will not be pranking Joey, but anyone else that signs up to get a tree will also get the random decor. Okay, well, the first thing I think we should do is head on over to my Christmas store. We'll see if we made any diamonds and we can check to see if anyone signed up in the book. <gasps> Someone's been decorating for Christmas. It looks like people have been to my shop. Yay. That means diamonds for me. I'm excited because I'm poor. Hold up. Let's see this. Oh, the decorations look beautiful. Wait, what's this? Ah, well, this is interesting. Is this the, uh, is this the Jeremy's and Christmas tree? All of the members have their faces, all these giant ornaments. Wait, why is there a door? Hello? Is this a secret little room? Oh. It is. But anyway, we shall continue over to my shop. Oh, wait a minute. That's a new thing. It's the x -Life Community Center. It kind of looks like a Pokemon building. I like it a lot. Who is this? <gasps> is that Nurse Joy? Jimmy, I know you built this. It's beautiful, I love it. But basically, this is just like, what? A little community storage area and you can complain. Welcome to the x -Life Community Center. Here you can drop off any items you wanna give to the community or other players, or even write a complaint about a community member, thanks. That's actually pretty smart because a lot of us just have extra items that we don't know what to do with. So instead we could bring it here and we can share our stuff with everyone else. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Um. I just, people, people have been telling me that Jack took stuff from my Christmas store. So, hold, wait, just, I'm gonna go watch this video real quick and I'll be right back. Oh my God, I have returned and I have seen things that Jack has done. Jack visited my Christmas store and he took more things than he purchased. I saw how many fairy lights he took in his video. And I demand more money. Jimmy? I'm coming to make a complaint. There we go. Jack, AKA Jeremy, took too many decor items and didn't pay. Hmm, how rude. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay, wait, let's see what's going on inside. So over here, we have our lights and garland. Oh my God. I was not expecting so many people to buy all of these. And I have over a stack of diamonds. Ooh, people bought some of these too. Single lights are not as popular, but you know, still good. Let's check on this book, cause I know Jack signed up, but who else signed up? So we already did Joey. I know Scott signed up. Next, okay, this is from Jack. Jeremy, hello. I, Jeremy, would like a big Christmas tree building in my area, wherever you think would look best. Watch out for Malcolm. And Malcolm is his pet crocodile. So, well, I'm gonna try not to get eaten by him. Okay, we continue on. Next page. Hello, it's CBK. I would also like a Christmas tree. You can choose the best position for it. Maybe between the Panda Sanctuary and the Staples. Next we have, hi, love your work. I would like a Christmas tree in my living room. Thanks. Um, and it's funny because uh, that's from Jem. I saw it in her video and it's a good thing that I did. Otherwise, I would not know who that was from because she forgot to sign her name, but it's okay. And now on the last page we have, Whip. I would like to purchase a Christmas tree for Mount Whip, located somewhere in the Market Square. Okay, so it looks like we have five other people that would like Christmas trees, but that also means that's five people to prank. So today, it looks like we're gonna pay a visit to Jem, Whip, Callum, Jeremy, aka Jack, and Scott. But obviously before we do that, uh, I have to gather supplies to decorate their houses. So I'll be right back. Hello, I have returned and I did a cool thing. So since I'm gonna be decorating everybody's houses for different holidays, I decided to make some custom banners for everyone's house. 
So yes, like I said before, everyone's still gonna get their Christmas trees, but they're gonna be decorated a little differently. If I open up my backpack, you'll see all the things that I have organized for today. And as you can see over here, we have all these cute little banners that I made. Well, now that I have everything that I need to decorate, we're gonna start off this holiday prank with Jem. Okay, we have arrived at Jem's house and she said that she want her Christmas tree in her living room. So let's go check out her house. Oh, look at her Christmas decorations. She also bought some stuff from the store. Okay, so this looks like her kitchen. What's over here? Oh, is this her living room? And then upstairs. Oh my God. Oh, stop. Jem, your room is so cute. How come I've never seen this before? Oh my God, I love her bedroom. Look at her desk. Look at her bed. Bro, where is this? Okay, this is... Mm. My living room is so cute. There's not too much space for a Christmas tree, but I might be able to squeeze it in the corner over here. Hey, that's actually not too bad. And since Jem went for the red and green lights, it seems like that is the theme that she wants. So we're gonna decorate it with red and green Christmas bulbs. So we could put a red one there, a red one here, and then a green one here, and a green one there. That's so cute. Oh, I hope she likes it, but Enough with the niceness. This is a holiday prank. So besides just the Christmas tree, ahem, we're decorating her house for Easter. Since the living room is a little bit small now that we have the tree in here, I think I'm gonna do the Easter decor outside. She's, <laughs> she's gonna be so confused. Okay, I'm gonna fly up and we're gonna take a look at the area. Ooh, right there would be perfect for an Easter bunny. And then maybe we can build some Easter eggs going up this hill. All right, so let's go one, two, three. And we'll bring out his little feet like this. Then we can stack this up for his body. And then this could be his head. So we'll put two little eyes there. Then he just needs some arms. And we have a bunny. Wait, that's actually cute. Stop. Oh, we should put the carrot in his lap. That would be really cute. That, that does not look like a carrot. It looks like corn. I think I need to change the color. Hold on. Okay, how's that? Is that weird? It's, it's kind of weird. It really, it honestly, it really does not, it does not look like a carrot. Uh, well, you know what? That can just add to the confusion. Wow, it's beautiful. Look at all my Easter decor. Okay, and now it's time for the finishing touches. Ooh, we should put it right at the bottom of her stairs. Ta-da! It says Merry Easter. We have these cute pastel colors on the banner. We have like a little pastel colored triangle bunting. And then down at the bottom of the poles, we have some grass with Easter eggs. Also, if you're confused as to why it says Merry Easter, good. But no, seriously, it's, it's supposed to be like Merry Christmas, but because it's a prank, you know, it's Merry Easter, okay? Anyway, to the next victim, AKA Flip. Okay, now Forb said he wanted his Christmas tree to be somewhere in the market square around 1794 and 1083. Okay, I'm at the exact coordinate location that he wrote down. And you know what? Actually, right here is a pretty good spot. But guess what, Flip? It's not only Christmas time, it's also your birthday. Just kidding, your birthday was in August. But today, we're decorating for your birthday. <laughs> Okay, so let's build out this base a little bit. I might be making this a little too wide, but it's, you know, shush, 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 shush. It's my tree. <laughs> Ooh, wait, this is good. You can still walk past. That's not bad. Okay, now I see that Flip has a bunch of these blue fairy lights everywhere, which are really pretty. So instead of doing red and green ornaments, maybe this time we'll do some winter colors. Aw, look at his tree. I love these ornament colors. But like before, the niceness ends here. <clears throat> um, sorry about that. Okay, so first let's pick out a good spot for the banner. Now, I'm assuming he normally comes to this little village area from his house. And if he's walking through this way, I want the banner to be the first thing he sees before the tree. <gasps> Merry birthday! But look how cute this is! I wrote it out in rainbow letters and I added like this cute little rainbow thing under here. And we also have some streamers going down the sides. So besides this banner, we're going to be making him a birthday cake, which we could place right here. And then I also wanted to make some presents. Okay, so let's put a present here. We could put a present here, put one over here, one over here, and one over here. Now that we have some cake and presents, the last thing we're gonna add are some balloons. Specifically my sheet balloons because, well, I already had them. Okay, and now if Flip comes walking from this direction, this is what he'll see. 
Honestly, this one's real cute. All right, part two of five of the holiday prank is complete. So now it's time to go to Callum's house. Callum said he thinks it would look nice if we put the tree between his panda place and his stables. So let's see where, where is that? Oh, he's got a giant snowman and he's got some snow friends. Oh, that makes me feel bad. My snowman needs some snow friends. I mean, since he has a snowman right here, I feel like a Christmas tree would look really good right next to it. So I think we should put it right around here here. Whoa, look at that. Okay, wait, the sun is bright. You can't see it that way. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is so cute. I love making Christmas trees. It's so fun. But now we must decorate. Ta-da. And now you're probably wondering, what holiday is Callum getting? Well, he's getting Halloween. And yes, of course, I made a spooky Halloween banner. And I think we should set it up right in front of his snowman. Look at it. It says Merry Halloween, and then I have some pumpkins on the bottom here. And in the corner, we have a spider hanging down from a spider web. But that's not all. We're gonna add some jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. We're gonna put some bones on the ground. Over here, I wanna add some floating candles. And then I wanna make some graves. Wow, isn't this so nice? We have a beautiful Christmas tree, a snowman statue, and then it just says, Merry Halloween. <laughs> this actually looks pretty sick. What does this look like at night? <gasps> Whoa, this is cool. Okay, well, now that we've finished this one, it's time to go to Jack's house. I need to take a look at these Christmas decorations for myself because in his video, it looked crazy. Oh my God, this is insane. Do you see this? Oh, hello, Malcolm. <laughs> Honestly, even though, this is chaotic. Um, I kind of love it. But now that you guys have seen all of the decorations he took, I mean, he did buy some, but he took others without paying. And since he did that, I was thinking it would be funny if I built his Christmas tree upside down. <laughs> it would also be funny if it was just floating in the sky. So <laughs> I'm gonna go do that real quick. Ah, uh, look at that, beautiful. And then because he doesn't know that I know what he did, I'm going to leave a sign that says, I know what you did. <laughs> well, now that we have Jack's upside down Christmas tree, we're going to decorate the rest of the spot for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so I actually want to get rid of the base of this tree right here. Just, aw. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, as I was saying, um, I decided that I want to build a leprechaun on top of the tree. And if that part of the tree was still there, well, mm, it wouldn't look too nice. <laughs> wow, isn't that something? <laughs> Thank you, Google, for the pixel art. But next, under the Christmas tree, I think we should make a giant pot of gold. Look at all that gold, it's overflowing. Okay, well, I think this is pretty good for St. Patrick's Day, but of course, we need to add a banner. Wow, very festive. <laughs> My work here is done. Merry St. Patrick's Day, Jack. All right, so we have four out of five houses done. So that means the last place to go to is Scott's house. Ah, hello, Scott's property. Okay, now Scott said that he had a location marked out for his Christmas tree. So I have to look for some red wool. Oh, <laughs> it's right there. Oh, this is a great spot for a Christmas tree. It's also a great spot for some other holiday decor. Maybe Valentine's Day? Okay, well, let's get rid of this wool and instead we will replace it with the tree. Aw, it looks perfect. And now since Scott has all these really pretty rainbow fairy lights, I think we can make him a multicolored tree. Oh, this one looks so good. But now for the prank part of this, I wanna put floating hearts everywhere. So let's put a light pink heart over here. We could put a darker pink heart on this side. And then I wanna add a bunch of smaller ones. Okay, now next I wanna cover this whole area with some white and pink flowers. Ooh. And now the last thing I wanna do is give him some chocolate. Obviously, you know, Valentine's Day. But we don't have chocolate in this game, but we do have chocolate cake. And maybe we could put it right on this block. All right. We have the cake, 
We have the flowers. We have all of the hearts. And now we can place the banner. Merry Valentine's Day. I think the birthday banner and the Valentine's Day banner are my favorites because look at this one. We have the pink text, the pink bunting. We have some hanging hearts. And then on the ends, we have some flowers. This one is actually so cute. Let me know in the comments which holiday decor you liked the best. Guys, I'm so excited to see everybody's reactions. Hopefully they're confused. Well, since I finished decorating Scott's house for Valentine's Day, uh, I guess my pranking is done. And now that our mission has been successful, I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!